Hi everybody, this is Fred at Brayside Allotments. Just sort of give you an allotment update, see what's going off. Right, let's start. Right, so in the polytunnel today. Oh, I'm going to, <laughs> I've got on Fahrenheit, I don't know why. It's 37.3. It got, it was 44 when I come this morning, but I managed to cool it down a bit. I uh, found some extra tomatoes I've put in. <laughs> I've no room really, but yeah, they're coming on nicely, these. Doing really well. And the uh, gherkins, little flowers on the gherkins. Ooh, yeah, that was, that's looking good. As you can see, I've filled all the tubes twice, all the bottles, and they're all empty again. It's, it's a really good method. It stops uh, water getting onto the plants and stops the blight. Right, outside. Now look at these little beauties. Oh, look at that lot. Eh? Ten tubs of spuds early. <laughs> if I don't get 60 or 70 pounds off them, I'll stand bloody hanging. It's really good. I'm really pleased with that, very pleased. All right, let's have a look. Now, these are the comfrey plants. What you do, you take so many leaves off each plant. I've got one there, one there, and one there. Put them in the bucket, let them soak for a couple of weeks and you've got liquid manure and it's one of the best things you can have. Uh, cause yet, oh, I don't know what's happening, cause yet, that looks a bit pathetic, but there you go. Uh, carrots, somebody take it netting off and put in uh, felt round, uh, fabric round just to stop the carrot fly. But they're looking good. I think everyone's bloody took. That's the one what I've got the, uh, Covering green, uh, covering on green seeds, so they can do them individual. That's really come up really well. Now then, red onions, yeah, they're going to be a while yet before they can do anything. But I've actually got some spinach coming through. That took a while, but finally coming through. I've got them in both beds, two beds, because you, you need a lot of spinach for one meal. And the beetroot, oh yes. Now, <laughs> I've got the strawberries off the shelving because I've put leeks underneath. I'll show you. These are Brussels sprouts, they're coming on really good. But I've put leeks underneath here. Got leeks in. I was going to show you how to do them, but you can't see much yet. But I've had to put the cage on because bloody birds keep pulling the leeks out. So I've got to put it on. Don't know what I'm going to do with this shelving yet. I'll have to, have to think about that. Might put it in. Oh, I don't know. Cabbage. Yeah, they're okay. Now, you can see the three I cut back are starting to grow again. They're getting more leaves on. So it's uh, come again, let it. Uh, cabbage. So that's pretty good. Onions, they're going to be a while. They are going to another month before they start drooping. And I can uh, start bringing them, drying them out. There's a couple of what's flopped, I don't know why. Uh, that's flopped. I don't know why it's flopped, but it has. But it's not looking so bad. I might have overwatered them, I think. You're not supposed to overwater. Are you? Right. Yeah. Garlic. Yeah, they're fine then. They seem to be all right. And so does the uh, little onions. The shallots, they're brilliant then. You'll get about, what, six off each plant, six or seven off each plant. So there's enough here to last me a year. Some more cabbage here, like I said before. <coughs> and, <coughs> oh, the, uh, well, it means they're slowly coming, and the peas. But overall, yeah, I'm pretty happy. I've had to move strawberries because I can't get to leak, so. I don't know what to do with them. Whether to make another shelving somewhere or I'm backside it up. No, I don't, I don't know. We'll see. But, uh, yeah, Bill's pot's looking all nice and neat. He's done quite a bit. He's got sweet corn in. Bloody hell, I haven't done sweet corn this year. God damn it. Uh, no flowers on the bloody plum. And no flowers on the bloody pear. I don't know why. I mean, I've put loads of uh, manure in there. So, 
don't know why. Anyway, that's me done for today. I'm absolutely knackered. I, uh, I got a bit merry yesterday. I got a bit, uh, a bit of a hangover. So I'm going to leave you and love you. If there's anything you need to know, just give us a bell and press the little subscribe button. Bye for now.